the one thing what, what, what for me and in, in my perspective what separated basketball from a lot of other sports is you 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 really felt that you had an opportunity to get up close and personal i if you're watching on tv you saw facial expressions and reactions you know they weren't hindered by helmets or anything like that nature and I thought early going, the, the, the NBA did a really good job of selling personalities. And it really gave you an opportunity to meet players and understand them and, and laugh with them and smile with them and, you know, feel sad with them and all sorts of things. So you, 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 there was a connection. So I thought they always did a really good job of connecting with fans. Uh, and again, you just, I, I've always had an appreciation for the sport. Um, you know, my, in my early days as a young boy, I, I loved watching Magic Johnson, the Lakers, and, uh, you know, it was just this, this attraction and appeal, this razz and taz, fancy passes, and just made it look really, really exciting. Um, so that, and that's kind of where it started with me. And I just have always sort of been in that realm and always in that space. And as, as time has gone on, uh, I, I, I'm talking to my teenage years as I was growing. Uh, you know, I, I, it, it, the reality is kind of set in that, like, you know, I wasn't going to make the NBA and be a you know, NBA star, but I still love the game. I still appreciate the game. I still love watching the game. I still love being a part of the game. And uh, I've been blessed and fortunate enough to be able to find a connection to it, even in my adult world and my professional life. So, um, you know, you oftentimes hear players talk, well, the game's been good to them. Well, the game has been very, very good to me as well. And I'm, I'm again, I get a, a pre, I'm a blessed to have the opportunity to be a part of it the way I am.